exercise 10 creating a new object display that is a widget you see that there are five slides this means that the exercise is quite long the goal is this is create a new widget from scratch composed by these items so there will be a rectangle in the background with the round corners colored with gray or what you prefer and then a text where we will show the temperature and a text where we will show the description and another one for the unit of measure and then we will place the thermometer that we show we used in the first exercise okay let's start let's create a new object display I remember once again create it in the project library not in the car advisor because if later you update the library you will lose those widget so in the project in the object display at this level or in a folder if you prefer we can create a new display that's called my temperature display and open it we can place the background so place a rectangle doesn't matter how big later you will understand why let's change the color I told a bright gray light gray like even even brighter we can change okay we can round the corner we can also change the stroke we can use black okay then we have to place a text it doesn't matter what you write here you can actually write any text later you will see that somehow we will uh, replace this text with the value of a variable and then another for the description desk okay write this text later on you understand why so here will appear the description copy paste here the unit of measure and uh, and the thermometer it is in the number this one a little bigger doesn't matter if this covers the text here we will see uh, only two characters the circle and the C or circle F for centigrade and Fahrenheit uh, not too big they have to move larger okay perfect now we have to set the size because in this moment the widget is as big as this rect so we have to reduce the size so rather than move this here try to put in the top left corner and change the size to the right value we can use this the fit with the fit you see it becomes as big as the uh, the biggest object that you have placed next step we have to define the parameter in the previous exercise we have created created just one parameter is visible now here we have more so now I can simply copy uh, the parameters that we can read in the slides so we can start with base this is the temperature okay 
I continue and copy all. Ok, so base, this is, this is the temperature, minimum, maximum, the bulk color, unit of measure and description. For the substitute, we have to write exactly the same string that we used uh, in, the, in the editor. So you can write what you want, it's not mandatory to use the dollar symbol, what you use, but important is to use exactly the same string. So please double check that you have done the same. Behavior, optional, sorry, mandatory means that when you will use this object display in your project, it is mandatory to, in the attribute window, to write something, to indicate something. In this case is a address that is a variable. Optional is optional. In that case, the system will use the default. While uh, hidden, uh, the attribute will be not visible in the attribute list, but can be used in the JavaScript inside that eventually you can use inside the, the object display. So I think that the temperature must be mandatory uh, or other uh, optional. Value type is the type of uh, attribute. Address means a variable. And for minimum and maximum, we need a number. So we can also set the default. So for the minimum, could be zero. And for the maximum, 30. For the color, the type is a color, and the default, uh, okay, this very light uh, blue. Unit of measure could be a string or a tr string. No, this uh, will be string is good. For the description, uh, we can use tr string. What is the difference between string and tr string? tr means translation or translatable string. So later, uh, we will see in the second last exercise, uh, we can see how to translate the string. So in this case, the description that I will write in the attribute list could be uh, translated. Actually, for the unit of measure, we can use an enum. Enum means that we can select the value, not typing the value in the attribute text box, but selecting from a list, a list of items that you can configure it. In this case, could be degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. So when we will use this widget, uh, this object display in the main page and uh, we will click on this uh, property, it will appear a list box, a list with these items, uh, circle C or circle F, and we can select one of the, these two items. Okay, let me check if everything is correct. Okay, here I use a different uh, maximum. Actually, this is uh, too high anyway. That's enough. Next step, we have to show in this text the value of the variable that is uh, or will be indicated in the attribute base. To do this, we will see we will use something new that is a quick dynamic. Here are the quick dynamic. Um, like for the object display, there is a list of quick dynamic provided by the editor and other uh, added by Karel that you can find here, this one. Like for the object display, not all the quick dynamic provided by the editor are used by Karel, uh, as well as not all are used in the CP core or in the supervisory system. So, we, but you can find uh, which one are supported in the help, like for the display. So, what are what is a quick dynamic? It is a simplified version of a simple dynamic, basically. So, in the simple dynamic, 
you have, uh, let's say, um, full options, uh, a full editor with uh, all the options, uh, so you can use uh, any event and uh, any action. While quick and dynamic are more, uh, let's say, vertical, that is, they do just uh, one specific uh, action uh, or one specific condition. Something like, uh, when you click, uh, it opens a display, like this one, the quick dynamic change display on event, it has just two options, two parameters. Uh, the one is uh, the action, click, double click, whatever else, and then the display to open. Using a simple dynamic, you have to select the right one here, that is the mouse event, select the event, and here select the display action. So a lot of options to, to, to know what is the right one, while well, here is very, very specific. Another one is the move. So in the move, that is always also here, is this one the action, and uh, you select the, how much to move, uh, in, the in which time, and so on. So, few parameters and uh, just one specific uh, job. Also, the quick dynamic creates uh, um, JavaScript code that we'll see later on as soon as uh, we use it. So, a lot of uh, quick dynamic. Okay, PV Pro, you can imagine the regards supervised sort of system. The um, quick dynamic that we need is uh, the set text, is this one. So, click uh, the object, set uh, the quick dynamic, set text. Uh, text. So we have to select the variable which value we want to show here instead of this text. In this case is not a variable of the project but the attribute base. The first or the second is the same, it's just a duplicate. And uh, here is important to press enter to confirm number of uh, decimal places, uh, one is enough. Okay, we can have a look to the script, here is. Uh, so the, this is the quick dynamic, set text and the parameter. Like for the simple dynamic, you can edit it uh, double clicking this. Uh, so click the right object and double click to edit. Next, next we can configure this. So we can drive the, the color using the parameter base. So let's say the input of this widget is, let's say, the input of this. And then minimum, the minimum is the parameter or the attribute min, the maximum, the parameter maximum, the, the fill color is the parameter color, and that's all for this. We could also change the default the color, uh, this one, okay, light yellow. <laughs> Next step, we have to show here and here, in these two text, the description and the unit of measure. This step is, at the same time, the easiest, but also the most complicated. The easiest because there is nothing to do. It is automatic, thanks to the substitute property, this one. Uh, it is the most complicated because we have to understand what is uh, the substitute, uh, what is the purpose and uh, how it works. To understand this, uh, we have to see the parameter, what are the options that uh, we are available in the parameter. You can see that uh, there are parameters like this, uh, the base, minimum, maximum, fill and so on, that uh, they have the R button that enables the relative addressing. So I can uh, write that uh, the minimum parameter of, uh, uh, this is the um, thermometer widget, so the minimum parameter is the mean parameter of 
this main widget. So basically, the input of a widget can be the input of the next level of the widget. There are other attributes like this for the SVG, this and this, that they haven't the R button. So you can select the relative addressing, that is, we can select that for this we use one of these parameters. As well as the text, the text is even worse, let's say, because the text property of the text object is not visible. So even more impossible to click the R because it is not available. So for this kind of parameter, we don't use the R, so we don't indicate names like this one, but we use the substitute. And it works in this way. What we will write, uh, once used, we will use this uh, object display in the application, uh, what we will write in the description will replace this string dollar desk dollar in the page. So we replace, in this case, this. In the description, I will write inlet temperature. Inlet temperature will replace this string. So here we will see in the temperature. What will we write in the UOM, sorry, in the unit of measure para, um, parameter will replace the string dollar UOM dollar in the, in the display, that is this string. So here we will see circle C or circle F instead of this string. Okay, now my hope is clear. Now we can uh, do this, uh, and uh, no, we don't have to do, is, uh, I told you, is automatic. We can uh, continue and uh, save and use the widget. So remember to save. Now we can use it here. Where is uh, this in the project? My type display, here is. Uh, size very good so in this widget uh, we the temperature is uh, the inlet temperature minimum uh, fixed from uh, zero to okay the default could be good okay we can change it to 25 just to write a different number color of the bulb instead of the default that is uh, yellow we can use uh, um, okay this kind of blue Unit of measure, you see that there are two options. You, I don't have to type, but just select from the two options. This is this because I used the enum type of parameter. Okay, later we can check. Degree centigrade. You see that instead of dollar UOM dollar, I, I see degree centigrade as well as here. If I write inlet then Okay, temper is enough. I see here in the temperature. Later we will see what is this prefix T, curly bracket, and so on. Temperature, and I can use another one for the set point. Probably is better if we use copy paste so we have the same size. So for this, the temperature is at the set point. This one, limit, limit are 10 to 15. The color of the bulb, uh, okay, green. And uh, the description, 
we can use just to make a test file letter and the description is a set point temperature I'm wondering why here I don't see the green but still yellow probably there's a mistake here because, ah, because the color must be the input color this is the problem repeating same mistake if I select a parameter I can't I can't write a, a default so delete this the default is in the parameters finish so save ah by the way I change I, I change the um, display but let's make a even more clear modification like This I move this. Uh, oh, make a mess. You have to move only this uh, and this, the thermometer on the left. So how to use? Uh, okay, save. How to use this new configuration of the object display? Here, here you see it is still the old version. To update. Uh, you have to simply close this page and reopen it and here are the updated one the thermometer on the left now the color is correct is the one that i selected here as well as here the color is this so okay now now works so save distribute reload frame and here are the two widgets temperature 13.7 in fact is this okay also the range looks good also here set point 11 okay looks looks good okay change so it works as usual quick summary the goal was create a new object display from scratch with the, this object so we started creating in the project library a new display we gave a name we place the items a rect with round corners three text and a thermometer we set the size of the object display using the fit button rather than find the right width and height. After that, we have created the parameters, so five parameters, created this one, included the substitute, we define if the parameter uh, is mandatory or optional, the type address is variable, a simple number, a color, a num that is uh, we can we will uh, choose between uh, these two options. That is a translable string. Uh, okay, finish. And then uh, we use a quick dynamic to show to replace the text of the of a text object with the value of a variable. And then we use as uh, input of the thermometer. Uh, object display the input of the, the parameter of this uh, display so base min max and color nothing to do for the description and unit of measure thanks to the substitute and then we have saved and used in uh, used in uh, the main page okay and it worked